All right, in this video, we're going to be comparing and reviewing three lantern diffusers so that you can better understand them, but also figure out which one is the best for your needs and for your budget. I do wanna let you know that these products were sent to me by each of these brands, but as always, I'm not paid nor am I sponsored to say anything about these products that I am reviewing. All opinions are my own and based off of my own experience, which I share with you so that you can make informed purchasing decisions. All right, so the first and cheapest lantern that we're going to be comparing is made by Godox and is the CS85D lantern diffuser. This is a 33.5 inch wide lantern, which is a pretty common size for lanterns. However, there are smaller ones made by Godox and other brands, just so you're aware of that. The design for the lantern, of course, is very simple as it mimics a china ball, which allows you to diffuse soft light in a 360 degree beam angle. The setup for the lantern is quick and easy as all you simply do is press it down until you attach the rod at the base of the lantern. Once you do that, however, I do find that you do have to go in there and manually move the rods around in order to line them up with the material shape of the lantern. Now I will note, setting this up for the first time was a little bit tricky as the rods aren't quite used to being pressed out in the lantern mode, so it was a little bit hard at first, but once it's been set up for a while, it's super easy to set up. There's no complications whatsoever. Now, as far as specific features that this Godox lantern has, it does come with a speed ring adjuster and it also has the option for detachable panels that you could attach around the light in order to control the light output so that it doesn't spill all over the place. However, those panels must be purchased separately as they don't come with the lantern. Now this Godox lantern also comes with a case that has the Godox logo on the outside and it also has a handle so that you can quickly pick it up and cast it over your shoulder to easily walk around with. So as far as specific uses for this lantern, it's great for product videos. It's also great for lighting up small and medium sized rooms with a nice soft light due to that 360 beam angle. Also, it's really great for interviews with multiple people in it as it can light them all nice and evenly with just the one light and lantern. Next up, we have a lantern made by Laufus, Laufus. I'm not really sure how to say the name, unfortunately. However, this lantern is almost identical to the Godox CS85D lantern. It's got the same shape. The material is pretty much the same. Everything about it is very similar at first look. However, there are some things that make it different. Aside from the price difference, there are a few things that is not included with this lantern, such as the speed ring adjustment, but also the ability to attach detachable panels to control light spill. There's no option for that. It's not even something that you can purchase separately. It doesn't come with that. Another difference is with the material quality of the rods and metal components as they are made out of aluminum instead of metal, therefore making it a slightly lighter lantern. Now this Laufus lantern also comes with a case that's pretty similar to the Godox case. However, it has no logo on the outside. It's a pure black bag and it does not have a handle so that you can cast it over your shoulder. So clearly the Laufus lantern is cost more, but has less. And I would say that this one's best for the person who knows that they don't need those panels and they don't care about the speed ring and they don't need a fancy bag. So you do pay more for that. So I'm not quite sure how to tell you that this is better than the Godox one, as it looks like the Godox is built for options and it definitely is cheaper. So, you know, if you wanna save seven bucks, go with Godox. If you don't care either way and Godox isn't available for a purchase, then Laufus is a perfectly good substitute. Next up is the most expensive lantern we're comparing here today, and that is the Nanlite 120 lantern. So the biggest difference, of course, is the price here, but also the size and shape of this lantern. It's not a round shape, it's more of an oval donut shape, and that is actually why I lovingly nickname it the donut, which would actually make the other lanterns munchkins, which if you know anything about the area I actually live in, Dunkin' Donuts makes little tiny donuts, which are called munchkins or little round donuts, which if you're from Canada, that would be like a, a, a Timbit. So that's just for clarification of the nicknames here. The Nan Light Lantern is the donut. The other ones we just reviewed by Godox and Laufus are munchkins. And if you get the smaller sizes of any lantern from any place, like the 65 centimeter one, those would be called tiny munchkins or tiny tidbits or you know something like that. So anyway, those are nicknames. 
let's get more into the details on the Nanlite 120 or donut. So the Nanlite 120 Lantern offers obviously the size difference. It's a lot larger. It's going to be designed for bigger areas, bigger rooms, light things up softer due to its large size. It's definitely a really big piece. It can be used for the same functions as the other lanterns that we just discussed, such as interviews and product videos in which I've done. Um, however, it's just so big. It's very hard for it to be used as a lantern in small situations. As you can see here, having it as an overhead, which it should be because it's a china ball, um, it's at risk for tipping over, which actually ended up happening just because it's so much bigger and you know stands and stuff have to work with its size. So it's not impossible. I, of course, had some user error in this specific situation with the uh, C-stand falling over and bashing the wall, which is awesome because, you know, love the holes in the wall but anyway it is a bigger lantern that's obvious about this thing but it does have a lot more quality to it the material is amazing the rods are great it only weighs about five pounds for the entire thing which is actually really light i don't feel like it's heavy at all and what's really nice about this lantern is that it does come with those panels for controlling the light spill so you don't even have to worry about purchasing separately they already come with it and they work great you can roll them up or you can have them hanging down you can choose which and how many you need or you can use the whole thing. So definitely helpful that that comes with the lantern. And also it comes with a really nice case. You can put everything inside and of course, you know, chuck it over your shoulder and walk off with it. Now, in my case, the thing is pretty much taller than me. And so that's kind of crazy, but that makes sense. This thing is four feet wide. This thing is a 47 inch lantern. So it's huge. I honestly have said that so many times and I apologize, but it really is a huge lantern. Um, of course, it has really great quality to the material. No complaints there. Super easy setup. Honestly, the setup on this is even easier than the other lanterns that we just discussed here. So the setup on this is super easy, which is due to the fact on the inside, the rods are actually kept in place. So they're lined up perfectly. They'll just push out nicely with the material. And then the rods actually lock into place. So that's really easy. They're the quick release as well. So tear down is super fast and easy. And then you just simply use a little hook to uh, keep everything taut and in place as its shape. I know that's a little complicated to explain and show you, um, but just so you know, it's a very easy setup. No complaints, it was the easiest one to set up actually out of all three of these. Now, one issue, I'm just gonna share it with you so that you're aware of it in case you have the same problem as me. I melted a nylon elastic cord piece that was used to uh, quickly be able to grab the other end of the latch that keeps everything uh, all together when you have this thing set up. So when I had the lantern on a bright light that I had at full power, it somehow melted it all in half. I don't even know what happened to most of it. It just kind of melted and woo, it went away. So I ended up replacing what I melted with a wire cord that I had and then just a carabiner hook just to keep it all together. So just so you know, if you have a really bright hot light, you could melt that little piece in there. It's not necessarily important. You can still function without it. Um, it just makes it easier to grab the piece that's at the bottom of the lantern when you're you know, pressing it all together and setting it up. Uh, that's a lot to explain, but now you're just aware of the melting issue that I had. So my overall recommendations and review on this would be Godox is the best budget all around option as it's cheaper, but also comes with the options of having those panels if you want them. And it's just super easy to set up, of course. And then Laufus is fine if you, you know, don't need the panels, you're positive you don't need those, which could be just most any person. Um, and it works perfectly fine. And then Nanlite, of course, is definitely designed for the people who have really big sets, really big shoots going on, and they need a really big lantern. So don't recommend that one for people with small sets and like tiny home offices and you know, that wouldn't work well for you. So those are the overall thoughts and, and reviews. If you have some questions about these, feel free to put them down below. And if you're interested in these at all, I will be linking them down below as well, just so that you can, you know, find them very easily. Um, if you enjoy the video, like it, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm always making content for filmmakers. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. I also want to note very quickly that after having used all of these for a bunch of different situations, I personally would probably really enjoy a smaller lantern and which Godox and Laufus do offer, and I believe Nanlite does as well. So all of them do offer smaller lanterns. These were just the ones that I was sent. Um, just so happens that I think all of them sent me their biggest ones. So I got to review the biggest lanterns out there. You're welcome. <laughs>